everybody is a little bit Irish. They, they really are. We, uh, I love going to seniors' homes because the, the music is really joyful and upbeat and really rhythmic, so people get really into it. Five, six, off, and squeeze. Silly dumb. What are your arms doing? Silly dumb. And down. Squeeze those arms. Yeah, Sophie. Amazing. The kids are just so poppy and bouncy and yeah, it's really positive. Good girl, finish those three. It's one more. One more. There you go. Good girl. Diddly 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 dum. On my mom's side, my grandma, her mom was from Ireland, and my grandma on my dad's side was born in Ireland. My grandma is dreaming of the day when I can go to Worlds and she can take me there and I can meet her family and stuff. One, two, three, one, two, three, bang! One, two, three, one, two, three, bang! One, two, three, one, two, three, bang! Hard shoes, they're generally a, like a one size fits all. So what we do is we have tape. So most dancers do tape their shoes if their shoes don't fit properly. So it just keeps your foot locked in so it's not slipping around. It also prevents blisters some of the time. I still get so many blisters and stuff, but it just helps keep the shoe where it's supposed to be. One. out with the group. That's fun. And I love the competitions. I'm very competitive. They're called uh, Fesh Singular Fashana Plural. So we usually go to about two or three a year. The adjudicator, they note your number down and then they watch you as you dance and like they say, then they judge you on like how well you turn out your feet and how you stand on your toes and you point your toes and you keep your arms together and stuff. Yay, okay, let's try some music, just that part. Five, six, off we go. One, two, three. You guys, we did it, again. When we stop, that either means one of us messed up or we're like, okay, what do we do? We wait for what Kira says and then we will do and then we'll restart and we'll do it till there. And then we don't know the entire thing because she'll teach us a little part by part. So we have to stop where the part we learned to. Left foot! If you stop, you just keep trying, or if you're stuck, you keep going, no matter what. Like at a competition, if you forget your dance, if you stop, you could get disqualified. So if you don't remember it, you just have to make up something and do it. <laughs> so a fesh is a competition. Um, the kids would be dancing in a row from different schools, but they'd all be dancing generally the same movements in a traditional step where when we do our choreographed steps, like a reel or a slip jig, when there's two kids from competing schools, they're doing completely different dances all over the stage. So this is quite a uniform dance. Um, it's really focused on rhythm, uh, turnout, crossover, because the movements are a little bit smaller. There's movements you're not allowed to do in a traditional dance because they didn't exist when these dances were choreographed originally, like heel clicks. You couldn't do a heel click. You might kick your heel with your toe, but you wouldn't do a switch click. There's nothing um, really above the hips, it seems. Um, I always find the movements are quite tight and sharp. I, I love traditional dances. And so I'm still learning my old, older dances. I like them because lots of kids know them and they're very, like, they're in the Irish history and stuff. My grandpa's Irish. He is getting older and he's getting pretty sick, so my mom would send my grandma videos and my grandma would show him. I know that it's part of his heritage and I know that it's fun to do and I like showing people what I can do. Watching them 
get difficult rhythms and they celebrate it when they do it. I like watching them even get frustrated when they're trying to learn something because they're just working so hard and then you can tell that they've gone out of class and they've thought about it all week whether it's like their feet moving under their desk at school because I hear that all the time or you see them out and you see them in a grocery store and they're like jump from backs down the hall and you're behind them and that's that's cool. And then one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, brush and toe. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, brush and toe. One, two, three, three, full three, full three. Do it again. Okay, one, three, 